Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Infosys. In this video, I'm going to solve the second problem segment. In the previous video, we have already solved a first problem segment. Okay, now let me uh, tell you about the candidate. The candidate had 2.1 years of experience working as a Java developer. And when he solved both the problem segments, he was selected in Infosys and he was offered a CTC of 8.4 LPA. Okay, that is 8,40,000 per annum. The problem statement was he was asked to get the cheapest product of phone category. Okay, he was provided a list of products and from that list of products, he was asked to get a product which belongs to the phone category and which will have the minimum price. And that is what the cheapest product. And he was asked to do this using Java 8 features. Okay, so here you can see the list of products and uh, he was asked to find the product which belongs to the phone category. So these are the three products which belongs to the phone category. And if you see, this is the product which has the minimum price. Okay, and he was asked to bring that using Java 8 features. Okay, to implement this, uh, let me show you how to do this. Okay, so here uh, you can see I have created a class product uh, with these four attributes. Just to save some time, I have created this class and uh, you can see these are the four attributes which are available inside that class. Then I have written getters and setters. These getters are going to return me the value of the attribute and these setter methods are going to set the values for my attributes. Okay, after that I have written a default constructor and a parameterized constructor. So by using this parameterized constructor, I'm going to create the product. This parameterized constructor accepts four parameters. First parameter is ID. Second is product name, third is category, and last one is price. Okay, this will be used while constructing the product. And then I have written a two string method. This will be used to print the details about the product. Okay, so this is about the product class. Then I have written a main class, and inside that I have written a main method, which is going to be starting point for my program execution. Now, next thing what I need to do, I need to create a list of products. For that, I need to create first the products. So what I will do, I will simply copy all the products which are there in the problem statement. Okay, so here I have taken all the seven products. Now what I will do, I will create a list of all the seven products. So here I have written a uh, code which will give a list of products. So here uh, I have created a list of products. Okay, by using arrays dot as list. So this as list is available inside the arrays and this can create a list of all these products. Okay, and this is going to be my products list. Now I got the list. The first thing which I need to do is I need to take the products which belongs to the phone category and then what I will do, I will find the cheapest product, the product which will have minimum price. Okay, to achieve this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use stream feature which is provided by Java 8 or which is available in Java 8. To get stream out of this product, there is a function which we call as a streams function. So what I will do, I will start writing the code. So first thing products dot stream this function will give me a stream of all the products and then I need to filter all the products which belongs to the phone category. So what I will do I will write a filter to get all the products which belongs to the phone category. So for that we have a function filter and this filter function takes a condition or a predicate. Okay here we need to mention by which attribute we need to filter the product. So here I am going to say that I need to get all the products which belongs to the phone category. So here I am saying that p dot get category dot equal ignore case and here I need to pass the category name. Okay, so this is going to be phone category. Here now I will get all the products which belongs to the phone category. The next thing what I need to do, I need to bring the minimum price product. product which has minimum price or the cheapest product okay for that there is function min function this min function takes a comparator okay and that comparator has a comparing method which takes one parameter and that parameter decides the comparison and that parameter is going to be our price parameter okay so here i will write this min function this function takes comparator and comparator has a method comparing method this comparing method will take a parameter to compare the attributes so here the parameter is going to be product 
dot get price. So here I am going to use method reference and this method reference by using this method reference I am calling this get price method. Now this min function will return an optional. Okay, this will be an optional product. Now I need to get the actual product. To get that product, I will use get method which is provided by optional. So this is going to return the product and I will store it into a variable product and I will name this as a cheapest product. Okay, now I got the cheapest product. What I will do, I will simply try to print that product. So here I will print it as a cheapest product by using System dot out dot print LA. Okay, now let me run this program and show you how it goes. Okay, so here you can see we got the product with ID as 106, and that product has name as Samsung. Uh, the category is phone, and the price is 1500, which is the expected one. So this product belongs to the phone category and has the cheapest price, which is the minimum price. Now let me uh, revise this what we done. We created all the seven products, and by that seven by using that seven products, we create a list. And now I need to find the list with, uh, I need to find the product which has cheapest price and which belongs to the phone category. So for that, what we did, we took, uh, we take a stream out of this product list and then we filter all the products which belongs to the phone category. And then by using min function, we uh, got the product which has the minimum price. And this get function will give us the product because this min function returns the optional of the product. Okay. And uh, to get the actual product, we use this get method, which is provided by optional class. Okay. And we simply uh, printed that product details. Okay. So that was, uh, that is all about this video. Thank you. See you in the next. Bye bye.